Hello guys, my name is Coding Vampire. So the next literal that we're going to discuss is character constant. One character enclosed in single quote is called character constant. For example, D. It must be with enclosed within single quote. Non-graphic character. Non-graphic character are those characters which cannot be typed directly from the keyboard. For example, backspace, new line, etc. The non-graphic character can be represented by using escape sequence. An escape sequence is represented by a backslash followed by one or more character. Note that an escape sequence represents a single character. So we'll use escape sequence when we'll write, we will write program in the next sec, uh, sections. Floating constant, also called real constant. Floating constant are the number having fractional part or decimal point. This constant can be written in two different forms fractional form and exponent form rules for writing floating constant in fractional form it must have at least one digit before the decimal point and one digit after the decimal point it can be either positive or negative without a sign it is assumed to be positive the following are valid real constant in fractional form and here th these are invalid real constant in fractional form string literal Multiple character constants are treated as string literals. Rules for writing string literal. A string literal is enclosed in double quotes. So we did a program hello world in which hello world was written within double quotes. So that was a string. Each string literal is by default or automatically added with a special character slash zero which indicate the end of the string. For example, hello. So how many characters are there in this? There are totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters. <coughs> but the compiler will automatically add another character slash 0. This is called the null character. So totally there would be 6 characters. The next token that we are going to discuss is punctuator. Also called separator. So just pause the video and go through the slide. Right now we are not in a position to discuss punctuator in great detail. Operator. Operator are token that trigger some computation when applied to variable and other object in an expression. For example, 5 plus 4. Due to this plus sign, it would cause some computation and the answer would be 9. Now, operators are of two types, unary operator and binary operator. We'll learn more about operator in the next, in a separate chapter, operator and expressions. So we discussed what are non-graphic character. So here are some few example of it. So we'll do this exam problem one. Write a program to print your name. So this program is similar to hello world. Start turbo C++. Uh, okay, I would like to keep the size of the screen small, so I'll press Alt Enter. Now that uh, we know about com comments, comments are explanatory notes left in a program. So comments are of two type: single line comment and multi line comment. This time I would use a multi line comment. Uh, in order to use that, you have to write backslash star print print your name now I have to close the multi line comment but in single line comment it's not necessary to close it now the first step is I'll include the header file hash include iostream.h the next header file is conio.h and we are using conio.h for clear screen function and get ch function now I'll write void main parenthesis open the main body of the program and I'll write clear screen I want to clear the screen before displaying my output and I'll write C out less than less than within double quotes coding vampire and I'll close it followed by a semicolon and I'll write get ch function not to leave the output screen and close the main body of the program now compile the program and run it so here is the output 
so i'm wrapping up this video as always i will see you guys in the next tutorial